Hey there, everybody. How's it going? This is Bronson from Fretz RV here in Sowerton, Pennsylvania. I'm excited to show you another product here from Jayco. I believe this is the first Class A review I've done. It's going to be on the Elante 27A. Love this coach. It's perfect size, only about 30 feet long. So it's not too big, not too small. It's going to be great for any of you folks that want to sleep a ton of people, but not take up too much space. Um, as well, for those of you folks that don't want to drive anything too big, a little bit nervous, this is going to be perfect size for you. Very quick uh, to get comfortable in here. Starting on the outside, show you some features. We are on the Ford chassis, so we're gonna be on the new 7.3 liter V8 engine, 350 horsepower. It's gonna be plenty to pull this unit here along for you. Couple features on the side over here. You do have a power awning, LED lights, nice big window on your entry door. Nice outside entertainment system. If it's a nice day, you wanna hang outside underneath your awning. Watch some TV, you got the speakers, a stereo unit there. It's gonna be great. Some other features, you've got your water heater, your furnace exhaust, your fridge. What's nice about a Class A, you get some nice storage bins down below. So if you want to bring some extra goodies along with you, you'll have the space for it. Opening up this first one, this is your pass-through storage. So when you open it up, you can actually see it goes right through to the other side. So you can fit some nice long items in here. And fill up all the space right down here. Coming along, this is just another bigger open bin. And as we come along, they're all just different sized. This one here, as well as the one behind you. And down below here, you do have a quick connect right here for your propane. If you want to bring a little outdoor grill, put it in one of your bins. You can uh, quick connect it right onto there, hang out again under your awning, get some grilling done. Have an overall good time. The windows on here, real nice frameless windows. The lantes have a really nice look to them. On the back side, you've got bumper end caps. You can put a sewer hose in there if you like. You are set up for towing, of course. There's a ladder to get up onto your roof. These are prepped for solar, so if you ever wanted to get a solar panel put up there, you could certainly do so. It's a fiberglass roof. You've got two air conditioners on the roof, two 11,000 BTU ACs. So again, with this unit only being 30 feet, it's really nice to have those. It's gonna cool down really quickly. And there's a backup camera on the top there for you. Coming along the other side, this is a dual slide model. So you'll have a slide out towards the front for your living room section and a slide out towards the back, which is where your king bed is at. King bed is real nice to have. Again, nice big bed on a unit of this size. And down below here, you'll find some more bins, which I'll get you in. First one back here will be for all your hookups, pretty much. You've got an outdoor shower, water filter back there, your water hookups for your city water, your black water. And you can kind of rearrange there, configure that however you want your water to be done. And your 30 amp power cord is also in here. All conveniently located in one, uh, one place, which is really nice. You're not running back and forth all over the place. This will be a spot for your uh, sewage. You got your gray and your black tanks on board. Got the handle down below there. It takes regular gasoline here. You got a couple of exhausts here. One will be for the chassis, and the smaller one will be for your 4,000 watt Odin generator, which comes on board. This is gonna be plenty to power anything uh, for any of you folks that are doing some dry camping, some boondocking. Just gonna be somewhere where you can't have hookups. That generator is nice to have. And this is the other side of that big pass you storage here. Looks the same as the other side. You'll find your battery hooked up under here. You can slide that out and fit some more batteries on there if you like. You've got a nice big propane tank on board to keep you going. I wanna make sure that we do see on the side mirrors you do have a camera built in which is really nice for if you're switching lanes indicate camera's gonna pop up you're gonna see what's going on next to you it's gonna help any of you folks again that are maybe a little bit nervous about driving something of this size this gives you extra comfort there are slide toppers on top of your slide outs and coming around the front nice big window it's gonna have great visibility really nice scheme going on the outside here Really nice looking unit. Let's get this door open. You've got Jayco's two plus three year warranty, of course, and comes with Jayco's J-Ride. Overall, more comfortable driving experience. Computer balanced drive shaft, different shocks, upgraded stabilizer bars are heavy duty for the front and the rear. Let's pan you around the inside. First, show you what this looks like. You've got a sofa and a dinette, really nice. You don't just have one seating area. You have multiple spots coming around the back. Nice big bedroom with a privacy door. That nice big king bed for you. 
some windows all around. Galley area is a decent size. Got a TV that pops up behind here. So hidden during the day if you just want a little bit of counter space. And an overhead bed that will drop down for you. And have a nice big bed up there also. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, two big seats up on the front. They will swivel around. You've got a table that can fit up here in the cab. Let's get you started off with the main controls down below. You've got a main power switch, some lighting controls, uh, your awning in and out, some accent lights that you can turn on, just main lighting switches right down there. And you'll find these storage cabinets above. You've got some lighting that comes on underneath here. Modern farmhouse interior color for those of you that are wondering. It's one of Jayco's most popular color options on the inside. It's that whiter color that you're seeing on the inside here. This is a jackknife sofa, so this will fold out flat to make a bed. You've got seatbelts on here, of course. I know a lot of people always wonder where the seatbelts at. You've got seatbelts there, seatbelts on the dinette. So if you're bringing, you know, six people along, you can actually be able to sit them legally. Coming along, you've got your fridge. This is a gas electric refrigerator. Open it up. You've got a decent sized fridge here. Definitely enough to get you through a week and the freezer up above. And right next to that, you'll find some pantry space for any of your food goodies that you might want to pack into here. Yeah, plenty of space to bring some stuff along there. The bedroom has a ton of storage. I mean, you've got drawers all the way down across here, big cabinets all across the back. I mean, I don't, I don't know if, I, I might be wrong, but I don't know if all of you can pack this thing up. I mean, I know I, I don't even think I have enough to be able to fit in all here. But you've got the hanging space up above. Nice big deep space in here. Plenty of drawers. They're nice and deep, wide and long. The other one below here. We'll get to the other ones before we see the bathroom in here. So you've got your toilet, your sink, cabinets up and below. There's a window in here with an exhaust fan and a decently sized shower here for you. Got the shower head that will go up above. This is a skylight for any of you taller folks, give you a little extra headroom. And of course the sliding door that will close it off. Back here, weirdly, you'll find your water heater control. Um, so you can turn it on from here and just put the temperature up and down. And in the back bedroom, you do have a TV already mounted in here for you. So if you're about to snooze away on the king bed and you wanna watch some TV, you'll be able to turn that on. and. Go right from there you've also got a climate control for the air conditioner in the back light switch and again big big cabinets different storage spaces in here these shelves are adjustable you can see on the side there if you need to slide them up and down you can certainly do so and we'll open up one of these for you so you can see they're all about the same size again nice and deep quite wide for you plenty of windows along the back side you've got night lights up above storage cabinets also on the top there if you this bed actually will lift up in half for when you're traveling because when you bring the slide out in um, you don't want the mattress to push up against the wall so the mattress lifts up in half and kind of stays flipped up then want to make sure that you see you also have a privacy sliding door for the back section here so if you want to cut off from everybody in the front you can certainly do so Probably my only issue with this whole setup is where the bathroom is, sliding door. You've got folks sleeping up in the front and they want to come to the bathroom. They do have to come into the back room here. But hey, you all know each other. You should be okay. Back here, you have your generator start button, your slide outs. This does have tank heaters on board. So you've got 12 volt uh, tank heating pads that are attached to the tanks. So you'll be able to turn those on. You've got your water pump, water heater. You've got a Xantrex 1000 watts inverter on board also. So again, for those of you dry camping, you want to turn on your just your inverter, you'll be able to run your outlets in that right from there. Another climate control and your power control system here. Nice big microwave, three burner cooktop with an oven. Deep drawer down below, maybe for some pots and pans. A couple of drawers here for you. Kitchen section, I would say, yeah, it does lack a little bit of storage, but hey, still got plenty for what you need to bring along for you. And it's got some counter space with the countertop extension for you. And when you lift up your sink covers, you will be met with a nice deep stainless steel sink. And right up above that, it just pops with some plates and bowls. 
to throw right on top. You do have your outlets that will pop out from there. Your dinette will make a bed. The tabletop will lay down flat. Fill the cushions in, make a nice flat space. You've got plenty of 110 outlets on either side. USB, you've got the TV lift button here so you can just hit TV up. And uh, you'll see here, with the push of a button, you'll be met with your uh, nice TV for your living area. Just lifts up like so. So if you're sitting on the sofa, you wanna watch some TV, throw on a movie, you can do so right from here. So once you lift that up, that'll come up a little bit more, but I don't wanna spend your time, you get the idea. And you got a light switch for underneath there. Again, the bed up above, bringing some more extra folks who wanna keep them comfy. It's a seatbelt up there, a little key, a little button that you push. This bed's gonna lay down, whoop, come electrically down, it's power controlled. It'll drop down right from there and you can hop up there and sleep a couple people up there. Set up to 750 pounds of weight it will handle. Again, these seats will swivel around. There's a table that you can get mounted in here if you want to have some extra seating space. Front chassis section, it's nice and simple. Not too many crazy amounts of buttons. You do have the automatic leveling system on here so you can power it on and hit auto level. It's going to do its own thing. You've got lighting controls, generators start and stop from here. You've got a power controlled shade which will drop down from here. And then uh, other shades that will come across the, the side here to give you your privacy. Nice, big, comfy seats. The Sony entertainment system up here for your stereo. You've got the uh, Apple CarPlay, the Android that you can connect onto here. And down below that is just your climate controls. Again, it's very simple. And if you're sitting in the passenger seat, you're gonna be nice and comfy in the long drive. Plenty of leg room here. Got outlets, USB spots to put all my goodies. And even a little extension here if I want to do a little work or something. Right from there. These seats are power adjustable, so just push some buttons and it's going to move along for you. Well, this is the uh, 2021 Jayco Elante 27A here at Fretz RV of Sowerton, Pennsylvania. My name is Bronson. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the comments. I will uh, do my best to reach back out to you. Give a call to the dealership. Ask for me. If you've got any more questions and you want to talk personally, I'll be glad to help you with that as well. Um, if you did like the video, please be sure to drop a thumbs up. Subscribe to keep up with further content. Have plenty more Class A's, B's, C's, trailers, fifth wheels coming to the channel. Plenty to show you. Keep up with me on the next one. I'll see you then. Thanks, guys.